Are you a VTuber? And do you want to make your own logo? Like this? Dun, dun, dun. Today I will tell I will teach you I will teach you my techniques on how to make a good VTuber logo. Very easy. First things first, you need Clip Studio Paint. Because this is a Clip Studio Paint VTuber logo making tutorial. Uh so you need at least to have the Clip Studio Paint. I'm sorry. I don't know how to use Photoshop. So that's not the kind of video. <laughs> that's not the video I'm making. Whoops. Step one, finding your font. Mm. A good source to find good royalty-free fonts is Google Fonts. There's so many royalty-free fonts that you can find on Google Fonts. Wow, look at all these fonts. And you just gotta kind of pick the style you like. You know, check it all out and type your name in the in the the preview bar and just kind of check how it how your vtuber name looks looks with the different fonts and once you found the font you like you can go ahead and download that and start using it for your font and you can also find um different language fonts uh like uh different languages fonts like if you want to find japanese font for your uh for your katakana name or your like I don't know your whatever whatever however you write your your name in like Japanese reading now that you found your font go ahead and type it into clip studio and then we can get started step 2 coloring your font make a new layer above the font layer and fill that layer with the color that you want your font to be and then just clip that colored layer to your font layer Pick a color that suits your first color and use that to make a gradient. And when you have the gradient, you just transform to it, control T, and just squish it so it will fit halfway through the font. And then just clip that layer once again. Step 3. Font Outline Put the three layers of your font text the color and the gradient into one folder then select the folder and turn on the outline layer property for it you can the layer property can be found usually above the layers uh in clip studio but i don't know sometimes it might be turned off um doing this should make you a clean border outside your text you can change the outline color and even the size of the outline if you put if you put the folder in another folder, you can make a second thicker outline outside the um so you can kind of like nest <laughs> nest is like a coding thing. Uh you can kind of put an outline and an outline outside that outline using the layer property. The outlines are toggleable unless you rasterize the layer. Uh so you can just kind of click it and it'll turn off. There will be no more outline. If you rasterize it, it will become something you can paint over and you can just like alpha lock and paint over it, which is also a possibility. Step 4. Adding details and personalizing. Here are some examples of details you can add to personalize your logo. Number 1. Add smaller text. In my case, I use the katakana writing of my name. But you can also add something like a definition, maybe something like um, changeling VTuber or something that kind of identifies what kind of VTuber you are. And you can also use your channel name if it's different from your VTuber name. Number two, mm, add a pattern inside your text. Um, in my case, I use stars and well, I already had the gradient. So I just added stars because a lot of... Um, my outfit has a lot of uh, star shape, star sparkle shapes in it, so it made sense to add more of those. But you can add something like maybe polka dots or stripes or checkered patterns. I see a lot of people doing those, and it just kind of depends on what kind of uh, branding you use. Maybe you can take inspiration from uh, maybe your just chatting background or or something like that. Number three, decals or designs. In my case, I have a lotus, horns, ears, wings, and a tail, which is kind of like overkill, but 
I felt like leaving anything out would just kind of make it weirder. <laughs> so a lot of things were added in my design. Uh, I originally wanted to even add my mascot bear, but I uh, I kind of ran out of space and it didn't fit the logos anymore. And you know, some things must be removed. <laughs> It was very stressful to fit all of the things together and try to make it work, but it turned out fine in the end. I recommend trying to simplify... Uh, I, I recommend trying to simplify your design. Maybe uh, being a bit more picky with which things you use and using things that define, define your VTuber. Like if you have cat ears, it's a good idea to add cat ears or a tail. And if you have like a ghosty theme, maybe you can add little ghosties. As your decals. The decals are simple to do. My technique is I just paint the shape or like the silhouette of the decals first and then I use the technique we used earlier to put an outline around the font and use it to make a consistent line art around the silhouette of the decals. The consistent outline weight makes the designs have a more vector-like look and they look more clean that way. If the outline edge turns out a little bumpy, which um, happened a lot when I was doing the decals, I recommend using the magic wand tool and selecting around or outside the, the little designs and silhouettes you have done and just erasing that, like, clicking the backspace tool and just erasing everything, a little, it'll remove a little excess if you have the selection settings correctly, but if it doesn't work, maybe you'll have to like You'll have to adjust your selection settings a bit so that it can like clean up the little excess. If you're someone like me who ends up with a bit, bit more of a messy silhouette. Number four, rearranging your font. I rearranged my font to work better with the symmetrical designs that I add later. And that's about it. Um, once you're done adding all of these personalizations, you should have a pretty good logo to work with. Uh, of course, it might take a lot more time. My logo took me around four hours to do. And I actually just like went ahead and not use the sketch. You can also like pre-plan your logo and not just go ahead. But um, I was just delaying my logo design a lot. So I was like, no more stalling. I'll just go ahead and do it. And yeah. It turned out pretty good. Mm, I hope this video helps you with your VTuber logo making. And yeah, I hope you can practice and kind of test around what kind of logo you can make. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. And yeah, that's about it. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'd love to hear what you thought about my video. Or if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments below and I'll, I'll try my best to answer them if I can. Well, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Matane bye bye. Jai